So here we are now in a new building. Actually, it's a, it's, it's a brand new building. It's just three months old, three to maximum four months old. So, and I am here in the first floor of this building. Here, this is the stairs which you are seeing here. And there is a lift service. It's a common stuff now, like for example, all the new buildings which has been constructed within the last four years, every, every building has the elevator. See, this is the, this is the apartment which is vacant here, which is number one. This is the main door, let us see how it is. This is the first hall which you can see just directly in entering to this bathroom. It's quite a good size hall. You can say this is a living area, we can say like that. This is a, we can, we can some people use, prefer to arrange it as a sitting room some people prefer to have to use it as a living area but anyway it is like it depends upon each individuals anyway this is the first hall which we are entering to this apartment see this one the ceiling and everything is very good as it is a new building you can see the everywhere it's actually really good i mean it's with a different kind of styles and design the colors everything is in a different way Now, to the street, through the arch, which you are seeing is actually, uh, there, is the, there are the bedrooms located, as well as a common toilet is there. Uh, and here, the street one which you are seeing through the window, like a window, it's the kitchen there. And to my right, this door, that one is actually a common, another toilet. It's a toilet, and that one is actually a bathroom, and this one is actually a toilet. These are two. Two of them are common. So let us see the first room. This is the first room which we can see here. Which is another kind of design for the ceiling. And this is a quite okay in size. You can say good in size. It's not big, but see, all the new buildings come with this kind of size. So this is like a sitting room, basically designed as a sitting room for the guests. And that one, through this door which you are seeing is the dining room. It's the usual, usual design is like this. This is the sitting room and this is the dining room. And once again, it's up to individual choice how we are going to use, how we are going to use these, all these uh, rooms. It is up to our own preferences. And here, we have window AC. Here is the window AC provisions uh, here. And here in the first hall, when we just got in through, through the main door, in the first hall, there's a provision for the split AC. The cables are here, the power line as well as the, the line for the, for the air, everything is there actually. And in all other rooms, they put the provision for the window AC. Now, so this is the dining area. And it is well placed, you see, from the dining area, it is actually very close to the toilet, oh sorry, toilet, uh, very close to the kitchen, that's the kitchen. So let's go back from here. This is a dining area, dining area it's okay, fine, fine in size really. See that dining area is really fine, see this one, the size is really good. And back to the sitting room. Now back here to the main hall. See, this is the line for the split AC in this hall, and that is the main door. Now here we can see there is a common toilet, just good for we can say like in a hand wash area as well as just in case of just a just a, what do you say? Compact in size, just it will meet our uh, it will meet our need. That's all. It should be some more, some more wider. You see, for example, at least one one feet or two feet more wider than to to the by lengthwise and breadthwise. It should be at least one more feet wider. And here comes the toilet. Sorry, here comes the and here comes the kitchen. 
see this area this is the kitchen here this is space for the cooking, cooking range this has been installed by the building owner and there's a provision for the fridge we can put the refrigerator here so then if you place these things definitely we have got a, a good space neat workspace here and we can fo we even serve the food from here directly from here so it's kind of a well designed one and now back to this passage which is actually taking this one this left door was the door which which we got uh, which is the dining room which we just saw and now back here see this one this is a common bathroom and to my right this is the master bedroom with an attached bathroom and here it's another bedroom without any attached bathrooms but there is a common bathroom here bathrooms are really this bathroom as well as the master bathroom is really good so see this one there is a shower there and a glass or glass door for the shower area there is a for the the basin is there the, closet everything is good see and in each in two of this bathroom as well as in the toilet which, which one which we saw in the first have, in all of them they have water heater installed and here in this common bathroom there is a provision for the washing machine and now back back to this room see this one this uh, one bedroom which is having a different kind of ceiling with a different kind of design this is the usual size of the bedroom so i don't have any comments for the new bedrooms like you see here it is a medium sized bedroom you can say for example and on maximum like for example 3.5 meter into 3.5 it is just my uh, rough estimate 3.5 meter 3.5 meter is 3.5 meter should be the size of this bedroom see this one now to the master bedroom so also not a big one but again to the new constructions this is like this itself the size is common this is also the same size the only difference is here The only difference is we have got a good bathroom which is attached to this bedroom. And here also we got water heater. See the ceiling of the bathroom. Here also we got a separate uh, shower area with a glass door. And this is the hand wash for the, the basin and all. So that's all. Fine. That's it. Thanks for watching.